What is up, folks? First Thing Gaming, we are back with another exciting episode of 7 Days to Die Mods Week of the show. We help you figure out what mods are good for you. And this week, as you can see here, we kind of have a different week. We're going to cover something we normally don't cover. We're going to cover an overhaul mod a little bit. But before we jump into anything, I want to say thank you all for the support. Thank you, mod authors, for what you do. <laughs> I love seeing new mods coming out, mods being updated and stuff this late in an alpha. Like, I have no idea when Alpha 21 is supposed to drop. Like, we thought it was going to drop back in August and then closer towards Christmas. And now here we are in February, almost March, and we don't have any real confirmation on when Alpha 21 is coming out. But it's still cool to see what you guys do. Thank you guys so much for that. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the mods. And the first mod, as you guys can see here, is called The Immersive Days by Shadow47. I like this mod. I don't like the typical day one, day two, day three, day four that goes on like this. This mod changes that. You see at the top of the screen, it says Monday, January 1st, 2020. The reason I like that is because it really does put you, like, you feel in the world like there's a world there. And yeah, it's easy, it's, you know, I'm not gonna say it's easier. It's a little quirky to count out the days sometimes, you know, because I'm not that great at math. <laughs> Sorry. But it's still really cool to see how they do the days like this with it goes up incrementally every 365 days. It's going to rotate up one more year. I like that because if you're one of those people that can play this game super a lot, like I typically get bored around day 50, day 55, depending upon what I do and how I play. Sometimes it goes longer, sometimes it goes less. But if you're one of those people that can just play this forever, you have one map that you've loved playing for a long time. This is super cool to have because you can actually feel like you've lived there for a year and stuff like that and you get to see the different months go by now i would love to see a, a like a way to make weather patterns affect the year or the days and stuff like in january it's going to be cold more stuff like that i don't think it can happen because of how they've got everything tied to biomes and stuff but i still think that'd be kind of neat i just thought you guys would really enjoy this mod like i do so with that we're gonna go ahead and move over to the next mod all right, folks, so this next mod is the Void Gags by Dizar, Dizar, something like that. Anyway, it's a really neat mod that does something super cool. So I'm going to try to repair this little block here. Oh, I can't. My hammer needs to be repaired. Well, instead of having to go in my inventory, I could just middle mouse click, and now I can repair. Yeah, that's right. Like, let's say we wanted to attack a zombie, but oh, I can't. My, my club is broken. Just middle mouse click, and boom, it's repaired. Yeah. I love this mod just because of that. But also this mod makes it to where any um, any airdrop is going to have at least one piece of loot. It also says that it's supposed to be able to put down or pick up stuff that's been damaged like this. But I can't, I don't know. I've tested that a whole bunch and I don't know what all the other placeables that you can pick up are. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. I just know that like this, you know, if it's damaged, I can't pick this up. And that, those are really the only things I ever play with that are placeables that you can pick up. There might be other stuff that you guys know of that I don't, but I couldn't get it to work. But also, so let me show you guys real quick. So wrong button. So when we're looking like this, we got this mod installed and we go to turn on our flashlight. It doesn't use the gun flashlight. It uses the helmet light instead of defaulting to the gun. Now you can still turn on the gun and the, the helmet light, but when you just do this, it defaults to the helmet light, which it's a minor thing, but I kind of like it because I don't always like having the um, gun on, especially like, because I like to do melee. So sometimes, you know, you go to turn on your light and it's like, oh, you forget you've got it on the gun and then you switch to melee and then it's like, well, crap, now I can't see. Yeah, it's a small thing, but I like it. But the biggest selling point for the mod is being able to repair from your inventory. But one other, one other small thing it does. So if we actually were to go and craft, um, like let's say we're going to go ahead and craft a whole bunch. Like you see how many we're crafting, right? But we go ahead and repair. The repair function trumps whatever's crafting. So if you're, if you're repairing something from your hotbar, it's going to instantly repair it as opposed to it having to wait in the back of a queue like when you come in your inventory and do something. That's one of the things I love a lot about it. But also, if you spec into salvage operations, by the time you get to the end, you're going to get a crap ton 
of stuff back scrapping things from your inventory as opposed to just normal i think it's what the 70 60 percent or something like that you actually get a lot more it's just it's a small thing but the biggest selling point for this again is the being able to repair from your hot bar i love that so much but with that we're gonna go ahead and move over to the next mod all right, folks, so this next mod is a super awesome Quantum Elevators by Canaverum. And I like this mod because it lets you go from any point in your base to any other point in your base. Like you see, we've got this little Quantum Elevator here. Now look at our height. It shows that we're at a height of 39. We jump up. Now it shows, now we're sitting here, we're at 51. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Quantum Elevator Controls, current elevation, 51. So if you're standing on one of these and you jump, it takes you up to the next highest one. If you crouch, it takes you down to down below. And there's two versions. So you've got a locked version. I'm sorry, you've got a locked version here and then an unlocked version here. And you see how you craft them out of workbench with some steel, polymers, battery, electric parts. Kind of easy peasy. Now, the cool thing about these is, like I said, they're easy to use, easy to craft. You get higher and lower but also this is a server side mod that you can play with without having to have people install it if you want. It's kind of neat because it just uses a little great pattern. But it says, you know, you read this, once placed quantum elevator pad above or below another at any distance, as long as they are properly aligned, standing on one, jumping, crouching will allow you to travel to the other. But the unlocked one can pick you up, but it says cannot be locked and is not recommended for securing a base because anybody can use it. Now, if you have a secure one, you can change a passcode on it and nobody can use it unless they know the passcode. But you might, why is this useful? Well, because now I'm up here on top of a big ass damn grain silo, son. But then again, Briston, this is stupid. Why would we want that? Well, okay, let's just go ahead and hop off here and God mode down so we don't die. And then why? Because now we're even higher up on the damn grain silo, son. This is perfect for those really high bases and stuff like that, like the place where I built in Darkness Falls or any one of those big ass smoke towers over there. If you play on a on a uh, map that's got like the combo pack POIs that are super tall or you build super high or you dig straight down to bedrock and then build down there, it doesn't matter. Now you have an easy way to get to your base. It's super easy. Look, transition. It's super duper easy. And that kind of glow around it is kind of neat. I'm not gonna lie, look at that. I just like it. I, I like the utility that that brings, being able to build bases how you want and do stuff like that. It's just, to me, it's just super fun. I think you guys will enjoy it if you play around with it a bunch. Like it, I'm actually thinking about adding this to the Darkness Falls playthrough, just so, just so I've got an easier way up and down in my base. <laughs> but with that, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the last mod. All right, folks, so this last mod is something we normally don't cover, but it's something I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna dive a little bit more into. This is the Zombiome Overhaul by Umbrella. And the reason I like this is because it does something a little differently. You've got events that can happen out in the world. Like you see this tree there, this tree here, they're little ice piles. Now, this just kind of happened. This is not something I did. These just kind of spawned. But not only that, you can get volcanoes erupting, stars falling from the sky. They've got different events that happen with this that I think is just super cool. But it also adds in some new items. Like we've got this frost harpoon, a bunch of different stuff here that I'm going to show in a second as soon as I take care of this guy. You see these frost harpoons, you see I threw it, it says I'm frozen. It also kind of froze that guy a little bit. But they also stack, and it just absolutely chewed through my stamina. See, now that we're unfrozen, we can start getting some stamina back. And poke that dude in the face. But see, that's why I like these, because... You can actually throw these, and they're stackable, which I would have loved for them to do that with normal spears anyway. But also, some of the stuff that this adds is just really cool. So like this green hand here, it says, attach a brawling, attached to a brawling weapon, killing a zombie spawns a random flower. Kinda cool. Corrosive shot, put it on a bow. Re it reduces physical resistance of the target over time. You have a parry stance, you put it in a melee weapon. When you hit the reload button, 
you can parry hits for 1.5 seconds and they different they cost different material that again we're going to cover if i actually can manage to get into the mod like look you just saw this pop up here look at that that might grow into a full-on tree now like i said before look see look at that one just popped up here I love that. I love these different little things that happen with this mod. Now, I've not spent a whole hell of a lot of time with it. Like, I haven't spent as much time with this as I have with some others. Uh, there we go. Come here, buddy. Boom. So we're gonna show you. Ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's pick up these. There we go. Come on, give me the. Boom. Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna throw one of these at you and take care of you right in the tongue. Yeah. Here, coyote. I thought I saw a volcano. That's why we came over this way, but I guess I was mistaken. But it's just kind of cool to be able to see stuff like that happen in a biome like this because it really does change kind of how you do stuff because the biome could start getting dangerous. Like, you know, a simple little biome like the the forest could become not so, uh, not so lucky. See, that dude almost fell into the ground. Another little ice tree forming little holes trying to form you and that's just the cool stuff about this mod like there's so many things that go crazy with it that i think you guys are really gonna have a lot of fun with it just based on holy poop back up lady hey no, you're going like way faster than you should be. hey no lois yeah now Lois is trapped underground. She'll pop back up here in a second, though. See? Damn, Lois. But you see all the crazy cool stuff that happens with this mod. It's just stuff is falling through the ground. Like, a water spawned there for some reason. Like, this mod really does just make things absolutely bonkers to play with. Like, you see, our our bag got stuck, and we couldn't get into it there for a second, and now we can. It's just, it's really neat playing with this, and if I can get the time, I will do an overhaul video for it. But, like, actual playthrough, at least a little bit, just so you guys can see more of it. Because like this, I don't think I'm doing it. <laughs> Funny. I think the grout pissed that dude off and he started smacking it. That was funny. <laughs> but you guys see the crazy stuff that can happen with this. The zombies were falling in the ground as we were fighting them. We fell in the ground. So a hole here now. Water coming through. Like, There's just so much funness with this that just goes on that it's kind of crazy. As far as I know, though, this is not really a multiplayer mod. This is a single player mod. Um... At least that's what it shows in the mod description. I haven't tested it multiplayer. But with that, folks, we are done for the week. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you had fun. If you liked the episode, go ahead and like, subscribe if you aren't. If you do want to see a more in-depth playthrough of this overhaul, please let me know in the comments. But have fun, folks. Take it easy, and we'll see you next time.